Hey, this is a an oil painting demo for those of you who are all into this type of awesomeness. I will be painting some roses, okay? Some pink, red roses, something like that. This is an oil painting demo. Here we go. So I'm gonna start out by blocking the painting, okay? With, with a thick brush. I started by blocking it. Now blocking is very important, um, especially if you're doing loose brush style, okay? Like, like the stuff that I do. Because what, what blocking does, it, it allows you to not really focus, to, to not really pigeonhole yourself and, fo and focus on little stuff, right? It really opens up for possibility. When you're blocking, blocking simply means that you're not really drawing, you're, you're applying color. You're just applying color. And when you apply color, there's different ways of doing it. One of them is focusing on the, the, the tone of the color, uh, whether it's warm or, or cool or, uh, or also uh, the tones of the color, whether, whether, whether the, the different tints darker, lighter, and on and on and on. But the way that I do it when I apply color is I just apply color. I'm not really thinking about that. It is in the back of my mind, but it's not It's not the predominantly thought that's happening, okay? It's not the predominantly thought. What's happening when I'm painting this is I'm really just trying to almost Paint directly, not really thinking about, oh, and I'm going to do this later, and I'm going to do this later. It's more like, it's it's more like, it's direct. It's like if this painting is going to be finished, or what would happen if I would just pull out right now? You know, what would happen if, if I if I stop painting right now? What would happen? Where, where, at what stage? How finished is it? If that makes any sense. What I'm trying to do is not try to let, let too much... For later, right? Which is which is something that that um, especially if you're painting a la prima, which is in one shot like this, it's really something to consider. Okay, I know I'm I'm throwing some artsy terms here. I'm not really want to do that kind of ish, but I'm doing it here because some people really care about that kind of stuff and they ask me. So, so see, I'm trying to finish it almost as if as if the painting. Could be done. It could be a a, a a study or a sketch that could be done. That's really the way I paint. But where if if I were to stop right now, um, could people could people see that and be like, oh, those are flowers, as opposed to try to paint uh, every part. And, and meticulously paint every part. Even if, even if you're doing abstract painting, for example, I'm going to give you a I'm going to give you a little example. Look, here I go. Look. Okay, here's part of the example. If I were to stop here, could people think that they're flowers? Right? Could could someone be like, oh, maybe those are flowers? Maybe those are roses? Could someone could someone think that? And the answer, of course, I mean, unless. You want to be mean about it? <laughs> yes, of course, right? Uh, so that is really what's going on in my mind when I'm painting this. Is if I were to stop, uh, it's, it's basically burning uh, the candle at both ends, really. And that's what I love about painting a la prima or, or painting in, in one shot, painting having the painting be finished in one take. The reason why is because it gives you very little room. It's almost like painting a quick sketch watercolor. It leaves you very small room for I'll be back, right? To term, to, to become the Terminator and be like, I'll be back. No, you ain't coming back. You finish it right now, right? That's really, that's my approach. You ain't, you ain't coming back to it. And, and that allows me to be spontaneous and to also access another part of my brain, another, 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 uh, more creativity or a different type of creativity, not necessarily just more, but a different type of creativity. If you are, uh, 
if your back is 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 on the wall, right? And and so this is what has allowed me to play in different ways that I would have never even dream about before I started doing this type of work. And so I'm not trying to cover the space of the canvas. This is another thing that, that, that I tell artists too. Here's a little tip. I'm not trying to cover the space of the canvas. I'm trying to paint. If, if I leave uncovered space on the canvas, uh, please understand, for those of you who, who collect my work, it's on purpose. It's on purpose because I'm, I'm trying to make the painting. I'm not, I'm not concerned with all the aesthetics I'm, I'm concerned with the painting. I'm after, I'm going after the painting. Not, not, oh, is this painted? Oh, is this, oh, let me see. Is the side painted? I'm not concerned with any of that. That's not the art. You know, that, that's not the art. I'm concerned with the art only. And so, so when I, when I, when I mention this stuff, I know I'm, I'm, a lot of people have asked me about it. Why do you leave certain spaces off? Why? Because I'm not concerned with the, with the aesthetic of it, I'm I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a decorator. I'm not concerned with the aesthetic. I'm I'm concerned with the painting. My 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 main objective is creating the painting. It's not it's not covering the space of the canvas and making it look pretty. I have no interest in making it look pretty. Now, I don't want it to look ugly, but I have no interest. That's not my main. That's not my main interest. Trying to make it look pretty. I'm, I'm trying to paint it. Right, I'm trying to paint it. I'm trying to express it. My 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 main goal is is can I express this? See, so so you relieve yourself from that from that burden. It can be a burden if if you're an artist and you're trying to cover every space of the canvas. You're relieved from that when you are focused on the painting and not necessarily on on the canvas itself. You walk away from the burden of, I got to cover up the canvas. This is why it doesn't scare me. Uh, and I don't say this. I say this humbly. If maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but a white canvas doesn't scare me. You know how artists say, oh, there's no nothing more terrifying than a white canvas. It doesn't scare me because I'm not concerned about the canvas. I don't, I'm not thinking about the canvas. I don't care. I used to. For years and years, I used to care about that. It used to concern me. But now it doesn't anymore because I realize, hey, look. I'm trying to, I'm trying to paint. I'm trying to paint. I'm not trying to cover up space. This is not a, a race to try to cover up space. I'm trying to make the painting. And so you approach the painting in a whole different way. And, and the reason I'm sharing this with, with you guys, I'm inviting you guys to approach the painting in a different, in a different angle. If you haven't, those of you maybe uh, who are artists for a while, you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, or, or maybe you don't practice that enough, or maybe you do, I don't know. But it's it's definitely an approach that can can free you, you know? I'm trying to I'm trying to paint. I'm trying to paint not not cover up space. You see, and then there we can get somewhere. And if you want to cover up space, you can, but it's a choice, right? It's not, it's not the, it's not the, it's no longer the, the objective. Right? Now, if you want to cover up space, that's, that's a choice. Now, some artists, in order to avoid this covering up space, what they do is that they, they, they put a, a clear, uh, uh, not a clear, uh, an undercoat, right? Uh, and that's certainly something you, you can do if you if you'd like to, rather than leaving you know little little white bits of like this of paint that could be undercoated and, and, and you could you could create a little coat there. And and I certainly do that, especially with acrylics. I like doing that. Uh, but I'm not really concerned with that. The 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 technique or the style or however you want to call it. It's really, it has more to do with, can we create the painting first and then worry about the minutia later, right? To me, covering up, 
this, this, this little things, that little space to me is minutia. To me, what matters is the painting. Is when you look at it, boom, okay, you know what it is. You grab the, the impression or the expression of it. You can grab it right away. And that's really the, the thing that I care most about when I'm creating artwork. That's the main thing, right? It, it's not, again, I know it's, I'm hammering this, but it's not covering space. It's creating the painting. And when you give it space, then you, you know, you're, you're able to have a different, a different experience with it as well. You know, you can have a different experience with it. So there you guys have it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And this is a little painting demo for you guys. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.